Android 12 is bringing a huge overhaul to the main UI and thanks to the Material U element, it'll start theming your favourite Android apps too. And because the ball is already rolling, you might want to try these in our first volume of the My Apps or Material U app series. So let's get to it. Thanks for watching 9to5Google Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Just recapping then, Material U is basically Google's way of creating an interface that is almost fully customized based upon things such as your wallpaper. Instead of just app specific themes like dark mode and light mode, almost everything is accented or tuned as a result of this. At this early stage, not every app we're about to tell you about will outright honor your wallpaper or system theme, but we spotted several first party and third party apps which take on aspects of material you theming, such as using dynamic color with two apps with full redesigns, including icons and even accenting. We're expecting all of Google's major first party apps and plenty of major third party offerings to support material you theming ahead of the full Android 12 launch, which is sometime later this year. The ball, as we mentioned, has already started rolling with more and more apps updating to include the tweaks necessary to match your system theme. All of these changes will usually rely on you running at least Android 12 Beta 3 on your device. And while support is there, expect to see increased theming ahead of release. So do not confuse Chrome with Chrome Canary, which is the bleeding edge of Google's web browser, but is still down for a mobile phone. At the forefront of Chrome, Canary is the first of Google's browser apps to adopt any sort of proper material you theming, at least as far as we've seen so far. Now there are some caveats as firstly, this relies heavily upon having a few Chrome flags enabled. The hashtag dynamic dash color dash Android flag only makes some modest changes to the settings page. That's it. But you may see some color tweaks to the address bar when using the autocomplete feature, for instance. The highlight color of the autocomplete should follow the primary color from your current device theme based on your wallpaper. By enabling the hashtag theme slash refractor slash Android flag, the divisive grid tab switcher that many of you will likely have wanted to have disabled will have more accenting as determined by the material you theming system. Things like your last view tab will use a darker shade of your main theme color, while other tabs will come with a lighter hue. Rolling out to a small portion of users, Gboard will prove to be a pivotal app to adopt Material U theming as it is one of the most popular keyboard options on the Android platform. The changes are quite substantial but most visible when your device is in the light mode as the keyboard, keyboarders and accenting adopt your wallpaper or device main colours. A lot of the redesign is also dependent on whether you have keyboarders enabled. As the bulk of the character keys are themed, while special character buttons are shaped and colored for greater prominence. Only a handful of users out there are currently seeing this, but we do expect it to arrive in a future update in the coming months ahead of Android 12's full release. The Files by Google app has also been on the receiving end of a very light material you redesign with the most noticeable change being the bottom navigation bar. Previously, you'd know which tab was being selected because it was shaded blue. In the new design, a pill shape surrounds the icon of the selected tab. The bar itself also now has a light shade of blue versus the white that it used to be. Similarly, the upper or top bar with the Files by Google logo and search button within has been given a material use style makeover, removing that shadow effect. Instead, to differentiate the app's visual layers, this upper bar now transitions from white to blue when you scroll down and it is very, very subtle. For now, Files by Google doesn't fully make use of Material U colors, though this points to support being ready before Material U formally launches on Pixel phones later this year. Some of you might already know this, but Google Camera 8.3 is bundled with the Android 12 Beta 3 update, and you guessed it, it has some Material U app tweaks. This covers vast portions of the UI, including floating settings menu and the associated toggles, plus the main control area of the camera app itself. The settings page does away with the dividing lines between sections, letting the colored text of each subheading act as a separator. Similarly, the text on this page and the quick settings, but not the main camera interface, strangely, has been switched from the previous Roboto font to the newly launched Google Sans text. As far as first party apps go, Google Contacts though is the first to see what we consider a sizable material you redesign. 
It starts with a pill shaped search field up top that replaces the previous rounded rectangle shape. This element along with the background and the non-circular fab is much more raised with a prominent shadow and most of this UI will adapt to your dynamic color. The tinting is very prominent in the bar and that fab icon while subtler in the background. The hue will differ though depending on whether the system is light or dark theme and other places you'll see this dynamic color include the alphabet letters organizing people's names in your contact book and when you open a particular contact page when you scroll up to hide a person's image the call or text or video bar is also tinted. All of the various Google contact buttons and areas that you can interact with should also respect your device wallpaper settings. While there's even an updated splash screen on Android 12 that animates the icon in from the left to top off what is in a substantial and the biggest overhaul we've seen with version 3.50 of the app. One of the most popular third party automation apps also now supports Material U for the app itself and you're able to use the theming settings in your own project. Tasker has made this available as part of the latest beta build and just requires a toggle to be set to Material U within the preferences section. For your own projects, you can use the get material colors action as you deem appropriate to give things a theme based upon device wallpaper. Sleepers Android is not an app I'm hugely familiar with, but one that is very popular in the wider community and turns your phone into a sleep tracker of sorts. It's almost completely material use style too, as of the latest beta update. It reacts to your preset wallpaper when running the Android 12 beta, but currently only themes a sleep tracking app based upon one key color in your wallpaper itself and adjusting things to account for that main hue. Not every bit of the app has been themed just yet, but there are still some readability tweaks to be made, but things are off to a great start here, especially when you consider that Google hasn't quite finalized its APIs for third-party developers. And finally, longtime 95 Google contributor Dylan Roussel has updated his device information management app Inware with support for dynamic color theming with regard to Material U. A toggle in the app settings lets you adhere to your device system colors, which drapes accented hues over all areas of the app, with a dark and light theme also appropriately giving the colors of your wallpaper. All in all, the number of choices, be that first party or third party, isn't exactly deep with regard to material you're theming, but we're likely to see a massive volume of applications steadily start to support material you fully over the coming months. Of the pretty small collection, what is your current favorite and what are you excited to see eventually gain support? Or even on top of that, have you seen an app with the theming enabled that we haven't mentioned? Be sure to let us know down in the comment sections below. But until next time, this is Damien with 95Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.